Catches ballin' like we just hit the jackpot. We just hit the jackpot. We just hit the jackpot. Catches ballin' like we just hit the jackpot. We just hit the jackpot. We just hit the jackpot. We just hit the. Yeah, I'm saying your beats. I'm Nicola Pope. Coming at you from Atlanta, that's a foe, foe. And the 678-770. Peace state, great state, why we puffin' that drug? Trying to get away, people let it stray. Yeah, we just wanna leave, wanna motivate. But I'm the type of cracker that you love to hate. Yeah, and I'm the type of nigga that you love to hate. Spin it back with me, and it's like you hit the jackpot. They love it. The bottles are flowing, the women are dancing, my crew in the booth, sipping on a hundred proof, whisper tequila and vodka, my crew we kick it like soccer, smoking on weed that got hell like Chewbacca, wearing tight pants like I was a punk rocker, rocking heavy tans, you can catch me in the bands, but you never advance, unless you take a chance, and maybe dance with the devil who might bring you down to All right, what's up everybody, <laughs> I like that, I like that, welcome to On The Block, we've got, uh, this is the most important one of the whole uh, season, we got the winner. Uh, what's up, Steve Moses? Winner of Big Brother 17. Thank you. Woo! Did you ever think you'd be introduced as that? No. <laughs> Have you contemplated that you do want the winner of Big Brother 17 on your headstone? No. You've not even thought about that? <laughs> I have not. Mm, I'd buy a real gaudy one. Pay for it now. So, you know. But, uh... <laughs> Who knows how long it'll be from now after I want it? <laughs> yeah. You to get me with the money now. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, man, awesome, awesome, uh, you being here. Uh, thanks for doing it, and uh, also thanks for the shout outs and stuff during the season. It's pretty awesome. Yes, I'm, I'm. I've been a fan of yours. I was a big fan of yours last year. Yes, that's huge. right on. Thank you. So that's much. awesome. Yeah, yeah we Super really appreciate. That's the only one. Uh, I think I think a couple other people gave us the shout outs, but I, yeah. yours were Audrey. True shout -outs. Audrey was aware that we did something, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That was, yeah. That's about it. No. That's about all we can say. Uh, well, so, but it's, wait, it was. Wait. It was. Really cool. Before so we get you. into what? it, um, that music was the Fleet music jackpot. That's uh, Jace's uh, band. Or oh, yeah, yeah. So that's what okay. yeah. It's it's pretty good. Um, so everyone yeah. go check that out. Um, check it out. We have the SoundCloud link in the uh, stuff below, so you can go find it there. But uh, show him some love. Uh, he's he's really pretty talented. So. Uh, but anyway, uh, enough about him. Uh, at Nicola Poe. At Nicola Poe. At Nicola Poe. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, dude, first off, I want to say, uh, before we kind of get cranked on this, I know I've told you this a thousand times before. I've told it to you in person and on Twitter and Skype and everything else. But uh, just want to give your mom a big shout out uh, that she represented you the whole season, had your back in your corner every day, slugging through the trenches. And uh, just anyway, come from a great family. And just want to make sure that we give her a proper hello. And, uh, uh, and she she was amazing to me this summer. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And she was like, I can't she, believe she was a watcher of On the Block, and I was that's surprising. Like, yes. <laughs> I can't believe she did. That. I got it. I I told her everything she needs to keep track of while I'm in the house. <laughs> awesome. I like Good. here's all the things I do. Here they are for you. <laughs> that's so great. Awesome. Awesome. It's cool that you could kind of pass that on to your mom. Like, I did. Get her into it. Um, I did. Well, yeah, let's just kind of – let's start at the start like we usually do. Um, where did the love affair with Big Brother begin? Um, start us there. Um, well, I, I, I first kind of started watching in season two-ish. I hesitate to say season to, to say season two because I was in rough – I was in just starting third grade when Dr. Will won. So there's a, <laughs> there's a question of like how much I actually had an understanding of what was going on. Yeah. So, I mean, it was just kind of, hey, mom's sitting here doing this. I guess I'll join her. <laughs> I would say it was more around season six when I started to get it into it kind of my own right with the Sovereign and the Friendship. I mean, I've gone back and seen everything in YouTube, but in real time, it started with season six. And from there, that's when I started going to future season. That's when I started getting more into like online, the feeds, jokers, hamsters, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And everything just kind of snowballed from there. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, you're a big fan. Um, you, where did the want to apply come from? Where did that start? I don't know. I just always had it. Yeah. Like it was just it was just one of those constants in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know where the actual original thought came from. I've just known just like I would have told you in elementary school, I'm just waiting to turn 21. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's so great. What did you, so you go, you, you go and apply. Was it open or was it? Uh... I submitted my video in December. Okay. Um, didn't hear anything. <laughs> yeah. 
I follow Robin Cast on Twitter very closely, mm -hmm. and in mid-April, she talked about a casting call that was about an hour and a half away from my school. So it was like, hey, mom, dad, can I rent a car and go to this? So I rented a car. It was at a oh. casino, Batavia Downs Casino, and I drove about an hour and a half. I went to the, it was an affiliate call, so there was no one from casting there. Yeah. Yeah. And I did my video. It was the most rehearsed two minutes I've ever put together in my life. <laughs> yeah. And everything, everything went from there. What was your stick? What did you say? Like, what was your, how'd you present yourself? Um, I played, I'm the smartest kid person that you've ever seen show up at this call. I taught physics at an Ivy League. I taught SAT. Yeah, did it to do. I'm also the cute, adorable little kid. I love Disney. I still sleep with my teddy bear, et cetera, et cetera. And then I decided I also, just for kicks, because it's a lot about talking about someone else, so I decided I want to make fun of someone else in the call. So before I even walk in, there's this guy, he's a comedian, he's advertising his show, and he gives me his business card. So I immediately turn around, go back in my car, I Google him, I get some beef on him. So I talk about being smart, I talk about being a little kid, and then I make fun of this guy. And that was very smart. Very, very smart. That's awesome. Yeah, that's super solid. Um, so I like it. So you all just was this your first time? Yeah, because you have to be twenty one. And last summer I had some family complex, so I couldn't. So this was the first time I. It just been waiting until I could. And this was the first time I could. Oh, wow. Twenty two. Okay. Um, so you start getting the calls and you start going through the process. You know, did it ever? Did you ever think that you were going to be on the show, or, or did it feel no. like it was? Yeah, it just not. Not at all. It okay. wasn't real to me until I met Jeff during the live stream stuff the day of. <laughs> That's just like holy crap. Because yeah. even when I got my key, it's like because I remember a Jason Thomas from season thirteen stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Do you remember him? I think so. so. I, he, he was he was announced with the cast. And yes, then, oh, and then yeah. he didn't do it yet. Yeah. yeah. Like, Mike, the sailing instructor from yep, season four, those yeah, people. Yep. I assumed once I got my key, I just automatically knew I was going to be one of those people. Yeah, I got, I got <laughs> you. Awesome. Well, dude, when you meet Jeff, that makes it feel real because it's kind of, it was for me anyway. I walked into a room not knowing what to expect, and, mm -hmm. and there's Jeff, and I was kind of shocked a little bit, a little starstruck, you know, really. And oh, yeah. uh, it was, yeah, for sure, starstruck. And, uh, you know, that's a weird feeling. That makes it does feel real when you're doing that, for sure. Oh, Absolutely. yeah. And that's like, holy crap, I'm actually going to, like, do this. Oh, then, like, okay, I'll be a Jody. I accept that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah, exactly. I, I love Jody very much. He has a special place in my heart. <laughs> Jody has a special place in everybody's heart. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but, you know, it's one of those things. She's made it so much farther than so many other people. She should at least be proud of that. You know, she's she so walked in the front door. Yes, absolutely, That's absolutely. Yeah, I was, big. I was definitely relieved when I got a key and not an invitation. No, oh, yes. yeah. Yes. About, I knew they were coming. I knew I was getting something. I'm just like, please don't be an invitation. Please don't be an invitation. Yeah, I was really very relieved when it wasn't. Yes, absolutely. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's kind of start getting into it now that you've gone through the casting process and you've got in. Tell us, kind of going in as a super fan. What your strategy was going to be because I've watched your uh, I've watched a lot of your preseason stuff here recently and and you kind of lay it out so just go ahead and put I it out there. Stuck, what was your I actually kind of stuck to it pretty well. Um, I wanted to be the cute, innocent little kid who no one has any reason to be scared of, no one has any reason to be intimidated by, and I'd be nothing more than a waste of your HOH to go after me. I want to sit at the bottom of a large alliance so that way if my side's in power, I'm safe. And the other side's in power, they're going to go after the heart of the alliance. That's what you do. So I'd be safe by sitting on the bottom of the alliance. I was also hoping people to think I'd be blindly loyal to that alliance. I'm easily manipulatable. I'm easily controllable. And people can make me do whatever they want. So when the alliance starts imploding on itself at the end, I'm not going to be the one to get rid of because people are going to want to keep me around because they know they can control what I'm going to do. It's pretty awesome. I mean, yeah, no. And that's, yeah. And Vanessa was that player, and that's why I played blindly loyal to her this entire game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew what she was up to for most of the game, but I knew I couldn't. The comparison I kind of made in my head was to like Russell from Survivor Samoa, where he gets rid of the people who are on to him, and he keeps the people around who aren't. Mm -hmm. So I had yeah. to play the blindly loyal and convince her that she could completely control me the entire game until I knew I had her. Mm -hmm. uh, well, let's, let's 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 get let's not get ahead of our horses let's, here. Let's let's, get, <laughs> let's, right? let's I want to hear because like one of the most amazing things for me was like walking through that front door, seeing like the place, and just being there for the first time ever. So my head moves very quickly. In case you didn't notice, oh, with scampering hours. No. <laughs> well, what, like, uh, what's what was it like to walk through that door for the first time? It was so scary because I. I was um, caught off guard because I was expecting to recognize more people than I did. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. 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 I see. Yeah, I was surprised by I was surprised by how many people were brand new faces to me, and that threw me off guard. 
Okay. Um, did you did you think like maybe that it was like some these were all twisty people? They were like some sort of um, well, well, Austin more was famous. The first, no, I mean Austin was the first one who stood out to me because mm-hmm. obviously he was Austin and he towered above everyone else. Like, oh god, yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly think we didn't get along just because I'm so different from people like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So what's it like? What's your first interaction with people like? How do you start like? Because you get the awkward guy at it, you know, as uh, me and Ian kind of did. Um, was I don't want to lead you into this or anything, but how much of that were you playing up, and how much was like just your everyday normal life or normal Steve, you know? Um, it was on the first night. Yeah. On the first night, that was 100% normal, Steve. I was not playing anything up on the first night. Okay. I'm just trying to, I mean, the first night, just getting along, blending in, not standing out. Yeah. To quote me and Terry, the only, your only job in week one is don't be that guy. <laughs> yeah. And by playing up the awkwardness, I was making myself that guy. And I already knew I was being easy or week one target just because I'm that guy. Mm-hmm. So I was doing okay. everything I could to just blend in and don't be noticed. Okay. So what did we not see on the feeds? Because before the feeds came on, uh, what do we not see? What relationships were you trying to build? What were you doing to try to uh, to try to avoid being that guy? Um, just being quiet, shutting up, and just doing a lot more listening and talking. Get people to talk about themselves. Don't talk as much about myself. Just do a lot of listening, a lot of observing. Don't make any decisions. Just gather a lot of information. Okay. Um, okay. Um, that's. I've got to kind of walk into the nominations and they choice because. You know, it looks like you may have done a shitty job of that, Steve. I, that that is, I'm aware of. of I'm sorry, of blending. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I did. I know, and I full, I wholeheartedly expected to. Yeah. Well, Jason is going. Jason and James going to H O H. I always walk everybody through this because there's a lot going on, a lot to keep up with, and I want the audience to know exactly where we're at because we're going to walk through each week of your game and talk about relationships and that kind of thing as as, as right. we walk towards the end. So that's kind of systematically how we're going to do this. The week one, Jason and James are going to win that HOH. Uh, Jason's nominates uh, Becky and Johnny Mac. James nominates uh, Jackie and you. Uh, Be- Becky, Johnny Mac win the Battle of the Block, and you're going to win the Power Veto with those trombonists. The first Power Veto is that one, right? So yep. you won that trim- with the trombonus. So now I uh, to win. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, uh, that's no, they, that's that is that's something awesome. that's weird though. That I mean, like yeah, I I like well, um, didn't Brendan and Rachel, Brendan and Rachel, win on like what chemistry or or no no understanding I, I, un- understanding understanding yes. I guess yeah. Well, yes. Uh, uh, Lisa on my season gave me the tip of like just whatever you do in your normal life, go pick those letters. I ended up picking up delivery. You ended right, up that, picking tra- well, trombone. Well, like, what the hell? Well, like, why was that her advice? She picked pot roast. <laughs> <laughs> she was that one word or two. Yeah. Like, oh. uh, but anyway, uh, Jackie is nominated alongside Jace after you remove yourself from the block. All right. A couple things here. We need to talk about the BB takeovers. First one was Jeff and Jackie into the house. So uh, it's a it's a basically a uh, couple that existed outside the house that are coming in now. I want to hear your thoughts on that. I want to hear basically I'm se- I set the framework, but I want you to fill in all the gaps, the stuff that we we need to know. Um, because you liked Jace, there was a time in there where Jace was perceived as bullying you and that kind of stuff, and he was trying to kind of like game you a little bit hard. I'll say that. But uh, but like uh, this is this week right now. You you've got safety. So, so talk to me about for being nominated to win the Power Veto and then how you play the rest of the week after safety. Um, so week one, I was looking for that one person. And I was hoping it was going to be Davon. Mm-hmm. Apparently, a lot got blown way out of proportion here. I never said I'm going to be her rat. I never said I'm going to be her mole. I never said I'm going to be I, her ears, and feed her information. None of that was said. All that was said was, hey, Danielle and Jason, season three, the analogy. Mm -hmm. That was said, anything about being sneaky or getting info for her or feeding, that never happened. Um, I don't know how it started. I don't know where that information came from. But I knew that when Jace came to me in that infamous talk and he was telling me the Danielle-Jason comparison to me about me and Devon, it's like, okay, she's telling people I can't work with her like I originally wanted to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Okay. Can we actually talk about that? Uh, you sure. And J- you and Jace in the uh, parlor room. 
Um, yes. That was a pretty big moment I on hear. the feeds. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people were really down on Jace. How did you take that whole conversation? What, like, everyone was like, oh, Steve, he's, he needs to be protected. He's a little kid. He doesn't know. But I That's what like, I wanted. Exactly. Uh, that's exactly what I, all I needed to hear from you. That's exactly. <laughs> I wanted people to feel like they could push me around. Yep. Yeah. That was yeah. the goal the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Why do you think they had to give me my teddy bear with HOH? <laughs> I mean, really, that was an intentional decision. It was so amazing. It's awesome. That uh, was pretty awesome. So you, it never was. Uh, it never was over the line for you, or was it ever like you knew what yeah. he was trying to do? You guys knew what the hell was going on. But, uh, and as a fan, you you got to respect the dude because he campaigned harder than any first out I've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't really count Joey's Alex attempt uh, season sixteen. That was just Whatever. But, I mean, Jace did fight hard. You know, God love him. He did. Uh, but, respect. Did, did, I, no hard, yeah. I at no point had any – even if, I was shocked to come out and find out that people were upset about that conversation. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I was actually seen, shocked to find that people you. were upset. Okay, interesting, interesting. That's cool. Jace um, is one of my favorite people from this cast. I don't have a bad word to say about him. Mm -hmm. Sure. Jay, uh, I hung out with Jace a lot during the oh, finale he's week. Amazing. And he's yep. awesome. Cool, dude. Fucking awesome, dude. Okay. Um, let's talk about Jackie, though. Jackie's been brought in with Jeff. What was the talk about? Why was Jace more important to send home for James? And I know that Audrey had a lot of kind of stuff going on during this time that kind of muddied the waters, and people didn't really know exactly what was happening to a certain extent. But uh, tell us about that and why Jackie, why not breaking up this duo early was was a thought. Um, I... I wasn't on the inside. I had nothing to do with the Jace decision. If I had had a say, it wouldn't have been Jace going home that first week. Okay, um, okay. Because I was but close for the, to but just, but just for the votes, just for the vote's sake, you're basically told who to vote for? Is that... Yeah, or uh, you just, because okay. James told me on day two, we're backdooring Jace. Okay, he yeah. Told James told me that on day two. Okay, okay. James was threatened by uh, Jace. He's being physical, very much so as McCray was threatened by David. Um, our season. So, it, you know, he, he was a good target for James. In all honesty, Jace was a great target for James that first week. Uh, right. And, you know, Jace kind of gave him some, some ammo to help, you know, grease the door on his way out. But, yeah. uh, but anyway, okay, so, so that week we've gotten through it. Let's talk about this next week. Uh, Shelly and Becky, HOHs, Devon, Johnny Mack are nominated uh, by Shelly. Uh, you're going to be nominated again uh, with Jason. You're going to win Battle of the Block this week, so this is your second comp win in as many weeks, and second nomination in as many weeks. Uh, but now you've got safety. Uh, your boy uh, Johnny Mac is going to win this Power Veto, and uh, uh, the noms end up being uh, Devon and Meg, with Devon going home. Uh, Devon going home uh, was pretty much from outside looking in was due to the way that she blew up on Audrey. Shelly didn't appreciate that. There's all that kind of stuff that went on. Uh, you got safety during this. Did that blow up? Tell me the timeline of this. Uh, uh, tell me the timeline of all this happening and uh, where you felt the, the targets were lining up as people were getting games exposed. I'm sorry. My mom just walked in. You forgot the one on Geek Squad McGee, one on my Twitter. Oh, ho, oh, 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 ho, excellent, excellent. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. See, I no, that's, you, she's, that's, good. She's, good. she's good. She's so good. All right, you guys talk. Let me, I, I I'm sorry. Question. So she walked in and distracted me. Can you say that one more time, please? Uh, Just I don't like know that I, question. I don't know that I can. <laughs> I'll, I'll say, I'll say she's no. not me too. Um, say, no, no. The, the question was, was with uh, Devon basically uh, messed her game up by calling Audrey out. This whole thing got started. It seemed like Shelly and Clay sympathized with Audrey. Uh, didn't like the way Davon talked to her. There's the Clay, yeah, uh, Davon and stuff. So I need to know. I need to know this week the timeline with all the blowups, how things started happening, and then you winning Battle of the Block. You're safe. So you're able to kind of sit back and watch kind of the chaos. Yes. What were you observing? Whose games did you see going down the drain? And how did you see that you needed to start playing um, in order to survive? all of this uh, back and forth because you've been on the block twice now. And right. now that there's kind of this uproar, like you can see yourself settling in the safe spot. Yeah. So I just want to hear about that. Um, well, the, the big fight with Audrey in the have not room happened. I think the same day that Jace went off, if not the day after. And okay. James was kicking himself for that entire time between the V almost the entire time between the Vietnamese eviction for going after Jace and not Audrey. 
Um, because Audrey was being Audrey and telling everyone anything, and she made five million alliances in the first five hours. There was a, there, she made an alliance of her, James, and Jace, and Clay, I think. And it was about <laughs> the day before the veto meeting. It was called Cloud Town, I think. There was some. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I, think I remember that. Yeah. I, it was Cloud Town. I remember Jace and James were in an alliance like twelve hours before Jace was putting that's, Jace up, and it was a done great. deal. And Audrey made this alliance. I don't know why, but that's just what Audrey <laughs> did. She just was bored, I guess. Yeah. Like Mondays were always her day, because <laughs> she's safe for the week, so now she goes wreak havoc for no apparent reason. So um, I was like, sweet Audrey fight, yes, because. <laughs> People are forgetting, I got over the that guy hump once that Audrey fight happened. And also when you see the Screamo fights, those are the people who get targeted. Those are the people to go. I knew before I walked in the house, I was never going to be yelling or get into any type of fight or anything. Someone right. might confront me at some point, but I'm not going to yell back. Because I can't see control it. what anyone else can do. I can control what I'm going to do. Did, did you love watching those fights like in real time? Because <laughs> you're a big fan. Like, this is well, Big Brother happening in front of me. Uh, yeah. Well, no, I, I wasn't in the room. I stayed out of the room. Oh. I, 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 I eavesdropped in the comic room. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I had interest in being in the room because I didn't want someone seeing me and thinking maybe I – who knows someone can drag into me oh right. yeah yeah and people say oh did you see steve when so-and-so said that he looked away blah, blah, blah. you know they could yeah, yeah and just, anything. i just stay out of the room but i got the information yeah no absolutely and good good plan there uh, it was funny no one cared about the jace jackie campaign everyone was too worried about targeting audrey the next week yeah yeah it's funny how often the week was done after the veto meeting no one cared about the vote the mm -hmm. vote was done and people were already playing for the next week mm -hmm. after yeah the was done. That happened a lot more than I thought it would. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. People game like that. Absolutely, absolutely. And going into this next week, uh, you know, talking about Audrey being the target, already going after. Her, well, with Vanessa and Austin in, in power, there's no need to go after Audrey. They want to keep her in the house for other people to go after. So uh, we're gonna talk about this. Van's gonna nominate James and Johnny Mac, Austin, Jason and Meg, Jason and Meg win Battle of the Block. Johnny wins power of veto this week, and the final noms end up being James and Jeff. Jeff gets pulled into it by basically having normal game talk exposed, you know, uh, with Jeff the was spreading a lot of lies about a lot of stuff. I think the one moment that really sketched Vanessa out is we had a lockdown once, and Jeff was like, hey, to, to Vanessa, like, hey, we, I'm going to pull you into the hammock room tonight with some other people, and we're going to talk about stuff. And then it never happened. <laughs> so it's like, so Vanessa was like, Oh, it's sketched, sketched her out big time. Oh, okay then. <laughs> okay. So, like he's not working with me, and he's making alliances. That means he's come. Plus, he was saying crap about everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember you saying that week it needs to be like Audrey to go, and then me, and then Becky, and then we'll be in jury. I remember Jeff saying a lot of stuff like that. He yeah. was just a big trash talker on everyone, and that was Jeff off for the record. Scammer Squad slash Freaks and Geeks was made that week. That week, week, uh, week. This is week three. three. Okay. Yes. Okay. Six, I didn't know about Six Sense until after the finale, but Six Sense and Scamper Squad were made at the same time. Okay. okay. And uh, Sound of Silence, Sounds of Silence. When was that formed? Silence. Oh, Students of Sound. SOS. Students of Sound. Sorry, I'm stupid. That was week two. That was week two. <laughs> week two. Okay. Okay. So sorry. We didn't I'm make it a up. final two until the she was HOH the week we evict, she evicted Jason. But okay. I, I, I was kind of seeing where her game was going. I didn't correctly guess the magnitude of where it was going, but I kind of saw she could be playing that role in the game. Okay, okay, right on. Do, do, how much like how much do you put behind that? Like how like in were you with that alliance uh, with Vanessa? I'm not in with any alliance. I will gladly bail on anything as soon as it's not good for my game anymore. <laughs> yeah. Not okay. yeah. My okay. loyalty is myself, and I gladly have anyone back as soon as it's convenient for me. Okay. I love it. Okay, right on. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, loyalty moving on. No role in my game. Perfect. What's that? Unless loyalty played no role in my game, unless you're going to continue to keep me safe the next week. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Okay. So with uh, with like you said, we got freaks and geeks, scamper squad forming right now. We're going into we've gotten through week three with uh, you aligning with the power, um, and then moving, getting Jeff out of the house. Now we're going to go into week four where uh, Liz is going to be HOH, and Liz and Shelly going to HOH. Uh, Jackie and James will win the Battle of the Block, dethroning Liz. Uh, Jason and John are the nominees. Vanessa is going to win this Power of Veto. And then finally, the House is going to get what they want and uh, have, have Audrey's blood. Um, so Audrey is going to leave. 
uh, Austin, this is where he throws the hinky vote. We, we'll talk about that just a little bit. Um, but but that's the kind of framework right there. Audrey was in um, Audrey was in a lot of hot water. Uh, she uh, she'd done so much game talk, so many alliances, so much of just manipulation that didn't need to be uh, that she kept really the first three weeks of the game kind of up in the air. You know, the game really didn't was settled back out after she left. So kind of talk about this week and with her leaving, uh, where you saw yourself, like I said, you are fairly well insulated uh, at this point, but I want to kind of know what your other relationships are outside of your alliances. Talk about, uh, you know, game talk with any kind, with James, Meg, uh, you know, Jackie, who else is in the house, you know, uh, I want to hear about that. This is the week when Austin and I started like, hey, it's understandable that we wouldn't get along so we're such different people. And that's when we kind of had the conversation about, hey, let's start hiding the freaks and geeks. You start bullying me and being an a-hole to me. Mm -hmm. And that we're going to use that as a tool to hide the scamper squad because I, obviously the goal was because we knew the goblins were together. So the goal was that if any of them ever were the target, the goal would be to get to go after Shelly and Clay. Since they're not going to go after themselves and protect my alliance, so Shelly and Clay are the only ones that are left. So it was starting to build that with Austin, and then Shelly decided it'd be – I, I still don't understand why Shelly thought it'd be a good idea to go after Audrey. I mean it's a huge target in front of her. I'm very big on keeping targets in front of you. And had Audrey won power, she wouldn't have gone after Shelly. I think Shelly made a very poor choice in going after Audrey. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean I understand why she did it. It's, it's a game move. She didn't trust Audrey, but I still think yes. there are other people that were much more dangerous to her personal game than yeah. Audrey. But and, and Shelly's defense, because this is something that I've thought about too, and I think McCraven talked about on the podcast about different targets uh, for Shelly this week. But Audrey was somebody that you couldn't take Ooh. what they were saying. Audrey was somebody Spencer, that you could. Spencer, you froze. Uh, you froze. To me. I missed what you said. Am I, am I back? Yeah, you're. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Are you, yeah, yeah. Steve, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. I was saying that. You know, I kind of went back and forth on this. And I think we talked about the podcast on whether Audrey was the best move for Shelly this week, okay? Um, but she she was someone that was so untrustworthy that keeping in their house would ultimately look foolish, I, th I think is what Shelly was afraid of. Just that, that, like, it's one of those, like, you fool me once, fool me twice kind of a thing. And, like, Audrey's fooled everybody four or five times. So maybe at least it was somebody, it was a move in her mind, and I can't wait to talk to her to find this out, on – whether it was just to say, I get you out because I don't know exactly where you stand. These people are against me, but at least I know it. So I'd rather have a question that, mark. I'd rather have a question mark than someone I, who I know is against me. Yeah, yeah, like no. the, yeah. Why? Because a question mark, you have a chance. Someone who you know is against you, you don't. Mm -hmm. I'm no. much more scared of a someone who I know is against me than a question mark. No, and fair enough. But I would like to find out what Shelley's got to say about that. Okay. That's, it's just so ultimate untrust that there's no rebuilding it. Um, but anyway, okay, so Audrey's going to go. Uh, this next week is going to be uh, – you're going to be safe this week because uh, Vanessa's in power. Um, she, Jackie's going to win HOH and Vanessa wins the other one. Uh, Jackie will be dethroned when James and Liz win Battle of the Block. That's uh, going to leave – No, uh, Liz won Battle of the Block. <laughs> yes. James. Yes, cor correction. <laughs> correction stands. Uh, but the nominations are going to be uh, Becky and Clay. Clay will win the veto. Uh, finally wins a comp here, wins that veto. And uh, this is the week where Austin was really could be could have been in a lot of trouble. And I want to talk about your influence over Vanessa uh, this week. And I want to talk about, uh, you know, Jason's going to go. But walk me through this week and how you played it strategically. Well, I mean, Vanessa and Jackie went up. And Vanessa's job was obviously to hide the alliance because they told me that ja this is where – the, the excuse I used in the double was I heard Jackie threw my name around. It came from Vanessa from this week. Even though I was probably the backup, I believe that um, Austin was the target. I have no idea of why Vanessa would agree to Austin being the target. I mean, you have two, so I mean, obviously Jackie's going to agree to that because he's on the other side. Yeah. Why yeah. Vanessa thought, no, maybe that was a lie. If it was a lie to like cover her butt, I'd that would make sense, but it wasn't. I think she genuinely was intending on going after Austin. I'm like, yes. Yes. Why? Why it didn't make why? It didn't make strategical the, sense? Well, no, no, no. Like we talked, we talked to Austin about this, uh, and she had started not trusting him when he lied about throwing that veto to Johnny Mac, and then the hinky vote. So there was already the distrust that was brewing, and I, I think that it was a, a legitimate option for her. But like, you're right. There was lots of reason for distrust there. 
However, if I'm HOH and I'm choosing who to target, there's someone who I know is coming after me and someone who I can't trust. Yeah. I would no, go out. Always seem like and, and, that, and that's what, if, if I remember right, this is the week where I, uh, I, you, know, you talked to Vanessa about numbers, how numbers are important. Right. And uh, is this the I week like we talked about the bomb squad? last year. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. That's about to it say the, the bomb squad. Week. So it's, well, yes, absolutely. And uh, that, that spoke to her. Um, and uh, that's, that ended up getting Jason uh, on the block. And uh, Jason's going to leave. Tell me about Jason. I like Jason. Uh, we hung out quite a bit, and he's done our podcast several times. Jason's a funny dude. Um, he was on the downside of that Davon, uh, you know, allegiance, and, and that bit him. But how did you perceive Jason in the game? Because he's very knowledgeable of the game. He's likable. Uh, where was Austin thinks he talked too much. What, what do you think Jason's biggest downfall was? I was a big fan of Jason in the house. I loved hanging out with him. The problem was he was a huge trash hawker and he was saying bad things about everyone when it wasn't necessary. Um, I don't know exactly what happened, but I remember that where this all came from is that right before the HOH, Austin tried to pull the deal out of Jason if Jason won. And Austin told Jason something about the twins being the twins. And then Jason went and told everyone. And that's how Vanessa stopped distrusting Austin. And, and so the, reason, the whole reason for the Jason and Austin target was because Austin told Jason, which he shouldn't have done, and then Jason told everyone, which he also shouldn't have done. Okay, okay. Uh, and Austin just so told Austin told Jason out of this for safety if Jason won HOH essentially, mm -hmm. and it backfired. Okay, so Austin conf confirming the twins to Jason because Jason did so. know because Jason did know he uh, did, but it wasn't confirmed. But it wasn't confirmed. That's what I'm saying. The confirmation and. At that point in the game, and, and um, at that point in the game, Austin even made uh, this one. He made it to sac Julius, the sacrificial lamb, mm -hmm. saying that it'd be potential that she would be gone as long as Liz and Austin stayed safe and this kind of stuff. So, no, you're absolutely right. That conversation did weigh heavy in on uh, this target, also. But, the, like I said, you had a point where Jason, Jason did all this trash talking. Um, I mean, a lot of people talk trash. Go ahead. Had Jason won next week, Jason would have gone after Vanessa. Austin would not have. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Well, let's button that week up and move forward because now we've got Battle of the Block over. Oh, and hey, we didn't ask you, how do you feel about Battle of the Block? <laughs> would you describe it as a fan favorite? <laughs> <laughs> I describe No. No, not even. I, I was... I don't know who decided it was a fan favorite. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure either. Favorite. I'm not sure what fan Allison talked to like one person that remembered that for some reason. So, uh, but anyway, um, favorite. Let's, let's. What's that? I, I just remember watching the premiere and seeing it's a fan favorite. I'm like, how much have you watched so far? <laughs> like a couple clips. Okay. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. That's all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm in no rush just because I know there's a lot of trash talking done about me throughout the game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. No. I don't. I don't. I can't remember. I guess I don't know. So I'm in no rush to go see it. <laughs> no. You oh, you gotta. You gotta enjoy it. Just absorb it all in. I'm, and, oh. I'm in no rush. Yeah. Oh. They, I, they do, I, they, I, you see, see, I put an email up for fans to email me, and I haven't responded to a single one yet. And I also keep talking about how I'm gonna make calls up on Twitter to donate the proceeds to charity, and I haven't done that yet either. So what about this? Yeah. I need to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You'll get. You'll get around to it. You'll get around to yeah. it. So. Uh, okay, we're going. Th we've got Battle of the Block out of the way. Thank God that just is done. Didn't even talk yes. about the worthless uh, takeovers of Last Laugh because Davon got an extra vote nullification, whatever. Didn't well, help, that whatever. That was a really good choice. Of and, then, and then, like, what was it? Meg won a cruise with Gronk. Okay, that wasn't a twist unless it was like she had to take it then. Um, <laughs> and the, the parties. Oh, what's yeah. that? Yeah, the oh, Gronk parties. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they well. Great TV. <laughs> oh, was an excellent segment. Um, the uh, the uh, HOH is won by James. Uh, this is really kind of one of the big exciting parts in the show. And, you know, when you get this, you'll see it. Um, I know you lived it. But Clay and Shelly are going to get nominated after uh, James made a made the, uh, deal with him, with Shelly, that, she, that he wouldn't nominate uh, either of them. Anyway, James is also going to win the veto. Uh, this is kind of an interesting point for James in the game. And I'll tell you this, talking about edits, like he was looking like the pint-sized pervert for a long time, okay, until Jeff left, okay? When Jeff left, he started, like, James's personality changed a little bit in the house. But that was the edit he was getting. Once he won this HOH, that's all he needed to do because he didn't even – he wanted Clay to stay. He wanted Shelly to go, and that didn't even happen, okay? So, like, James didn't even get what he wanted out of this HOH, and then he started scaring people. 
after he's jumping out of closets, like America's favorite was on lock. I mean, it was just like, anyway, we, we, we this neither here nor there, but, <laughs> but Clay, uh, Clay and Shelly uh, are on the block and, and Clay, Clay wants to leave. Um, he cut a lot of shit outside the house about throwing away his game. Tell me how you perceived all this this week. Um, it was definitely a relief to see Shelly and Clay go up because by process of elimination, he wasn't going to put up a person from the scamp. He wasn't going to put up a goblin. And he wasn't going to put up Shelly and Clay because that promise. So I assumed it'd be like the twins going up since he said he told me he wanted to go after a big target. So I was assuming it'd be Liz and Julie on the block next to each other. And then it was Shelly and Clay, which apparently was bad for Sixth Sense. And that was the end of Sixth Sense right there, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. And then yep. like, oh, like, ooh, nice. <laughs> now, I, yeah. I was happy to see my alliance was safe. No, absolutely, absolutely. With the, with the with six cents no longer able to be a thing, Scamper Squad was able to be more solidified. It's so, kind of like what hap- in case there aren't enough Ian comparisons. It's kind of like what happened with um, the Silent Six versus the Quack Pack. You had that core four, mm-hmm. and they had their one alliance with Ian, and then the other alliance with Boog- Boogie and Frank. Yeah, it's true. And then it's I true. was the Ian, and then Clay <laughs> was Frank and Boogie. Mm-hmm. So if, sure. anyone's, uh, sure. if anyone's listening that's going to be on uh, next season, uh, just play the Ian type. Just be Ian. Yeah, do uh, it. Just do yeah, everything yeah. Ian did because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a proven what? method now at this point. Uh, how, how did you... different. Yeah. What's that? Absolutely. The way that okay. aligned, you guys the way are that, so different, of course. The way it's... that that alliance lined up was the pretty much – was a good solid commonality, but just about the only one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, Well, also comp wins – Oh, uh, Big Brother, I don't know if this is true. Big Brother Wiki told me I have the most wins of any winner from their season that they won. Mm, that's pretty I impressive. Don't, I don't have the facts to double check that, but I mean, like, <laughs> but knowing your no, I don't know if it's true. Big Brother Wiki said that. I don't know if it's true. Uh, okay. It might okay. be. I'm sure it is. It's probably true. All right. Well, hey, trudging through, I want to ask you another James question right quick because he's going to become a, kind of like a character in the show. Not so oh, much a game player to a point, but he, he's become a big character and, of course, America's favorite. Uh, do you like James? Love James? Uh, he's exactly like you'd think he would be. Um, yeah, absolutely. But uh, but this week, how did you perceive James? Did you not trust him anymore after you saw him go back with this thing with uh, Shelly and Clay? Or how much did you trust him in the first place? Well, Where did he, he stand when your game was? I mean, he wasn't on my side of the house. Sure. But anyway. he had at least, yeah, but there was at least some trust or some kind of like friendship, whatever, or maybe I mean, like, like yeah, yeah, thinking he was definitely, down the line. This is around the time he was social playing me. Sure, like, sure. Really, like, like there was that, I don't know, if, I think it made the show where we were in the shower on opposite sides and we like harassed each other the entire time. I'm assuming yeah. that made the show because that was a great moment. <laughs> um, yeah, and it was like he started playing chess and just started, he really started playing a social game, which I'm sure yeah. the scaring people was complete total strategy. Yeah. And it was good strategy. <laughs> Absolutely. Sure. I mean, I mean there's, like, a reason, go ahead. there's a reason that, uh, well, actually, that actually the benefit came from me because I went after Jackie and Becky instead of James and Meg first. So he bought himself a couple of weeks right there. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Ab- yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, well, let's get through that week uh, because Clay's going to go. Next week, Becky's going to win. Okay, nominate Shelly and yourself. Okay, you're going to win the veto. Uh, r- remind me, what veto competition was this that you won? Comics. Oh, that's right. That's right. Right on. Okay. Awesome. Um, did you like this your comic whole- book? Did you like yours? I did. Yeah. And the reason why is Vanessa was all over me because transferring from an Ivy League to a state school is not common. Okay. And it was nice to confirm well, my story. See, this is, yeah, absolutely. Like, I'm not making this up. I don't have my Cornell PhD in mechanical engineering. <laughs> yeah. I, everything I've told you about my life is actually true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't yeah, even have I, my back. I personally liked yours a lot. I thought yours was one of the cooler ones. It was cool. Yeah. It was really cool. Um, um, tell me about Becky. Uh, because basically this whole week, uh, a lot of the house wanted to get you know Vanessa out. She was going to be put on the block. It was all promises, all sealed deal. Didn't happen. Uh, talk about this week. Um, it essentially came down to James and Meg and Jack. James and Meg do not care about Becky. The only person in the Goblins who cared about what Becky thought was um, Jackie. Jackie. It was like Becky was the bottom of the alliance, and she didn't know it. And like, like for example, if I had an opinion when Austin or Liz was HOH, it had they been, they wouldn't have given two frigs about what I thought. Mm-hmm. And yeah. for some reason, Becky was under the impression that James and Meg would care about what she wanted. She didn't okay. realize where she was on the alliance. Okay. I got you. And that was her downfall this week. Okay. Like, even okay. if she's HOH, it's not her call. Mm-hmm. It's James's call. Mm-hmm. It's because he's the head of the alliance, not you. 
what what is your what is your relationship with Johnny Mac at this point in the game? Getting stronger. Okay, um, but that's that's all you can we're, say. We're afraid to expose it, which is why like the most we ever do like, hey, if one of us is on the block and one we're both playing in veto, the person who's not on the block will throw it to increase the chance of the other person winning. But okay. like we're not like we're afraid to do anything because I he knows I'm kind of I think he's kind of figuring out I'm kind of on the other side of the house and he's he's I'm weekly with the Austin Liz Vanessa side and he's kind of weekly with the goblins okay. and we're kind of there floating in the middle so it's it, it's an awkward relationship at this point. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, well, when when Shelly goes, that eliminates any kind of um, you know uh, harkening back to Sixth Sense days. So, like we've said earlier, this gets uh, Scamper Squad to the forefront for you, of course. Um, this, but, but this is right double time. eviction. Yeah, sure. No, certainly, certainly. What I'm saying, it solidifies it. Le- it eliminates that as an option. Eliminates right. that as an option. So, uh, this is the double eviction week, though. So, just as soon as Shelly walks out the door, you're going to win this HOH. And you put uh, Jackie Meg up. John wins veto. And, and Jackie goes home. Uh, we've talked about this on the phone. Uh, but the audience was like, what in the fuck is going on? I mean, people were shocked. I mean, and honestly, dude, like I said this, I was like, it was like a serial killer. You were like, nobody talked to me. I know exactly what I'm going to do. And they were just like, holy shit. And it was like, it was, it was the weirdest thing. I've never seen a double eviction, like a live double eviction thing where like nobody really tried to talk to you and you told them not to, you just said you knew what you're going to do. I didn't. Vanessa wanted to talk to me and that was it. And I'm like, I don't feel like dealing with Vanessa's crap right now. (laughs) Okay, okay. Yeah, because so, we, yeah, we saw that no one talked to you. No one's doing anything. Everyone's kind of like The, the only person who even expressed any interest in talking to me was Vanessa. Mm. And I'm like, no, I'm not dealing with your crap right now. <laughs> okay, okay. In hindsight, so that was probably a bad decision, but no one else expressed any interest in talking to me mm-hmm. besides for Vanessa. Well, I, I'd say as a winner, you don't have to say in hindsight, that was probably a bad decision. You can say, ah, I'm glad I did that. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, but, but, uh, I at the time, it probably wasn't sure. the wisest. Well, I was just so stunned because I tried it, to throw it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, I know that you did not want to win that. There's You won that one by dumb luck. You forgot the zero, and then you tried to throw this one and won it. Right? Yes. So, like, two some, of your wins are kind of funny. With, I definitely had yeah. some luck this season. Absolutely. I, honestly, most of them are lucky shit. You know, a lot of times out that's of just everyone. what they are. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But, uh, okay, let's talk about but taking Jackie out. What did you hope? What did you hope to accomplish with that move? I know that obviously she's on the other side, but like um, Austin said, this was a time like he had trouble going back and forth with trusting you, and th- by doing this, it kind of showed him where your head was at, uh, and that was good for you with regards to to him and your placement in the alliance. Uh, I know that we talked on the phone, and I told you that you were at the bottom of the alliance. I, I talked to Austin about it, and you weren't really at the bottom for him because for him, it was always he and the twins, and then you and Vanessa would have been like interchangeable, but like. He said that your opinion and your strategy was valued on equal as anybody else. But just as far as like at a time, if it, if the time came to where you and Vanessa were on the block or you were on the block, or some weird situation happening, they would toss a coin basically to see who would have been their fourth. Does that make sense? Right. So yeah. I wanted to correct myself from a previous conversation. You weren't necessarily viewed as on the bottom. Intellectually, you were seeing an equal. I was just tied to the bottom. But for the <laughs> yeah, yeah tied for the bottom. But like, I wasn't you know, alone there. It was tied. But, but you knew being with the Oz twins that that's how it was going to be. So no, I mean, it's that's, why, that's what I said. Yeah. I never had any intention on going actually going to Final Five with Scamper Squad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, never yeah. wanted. Well, you, no, no doubt. And shit, you almost you basically did though. I mean, holy shit. So yeah, what was that? had I won, had I won that double eviction, the second double eviction HOH, I would have also Austin was. Mm-hmm. Okay, right on, right on. Okay, so uh, Jackie's out. This next uh, next go around. Uh, Liz is going to win the HOH. Uh, Becky and John get nominated. Liz is going to win this veto. And Becky's going to go home. Um, Becky and John had a little bit of a relationship. Um, when when she left, did that make John more of a free agent for you to kind of continue your relationship so, with? Something changed about John when Shelly and Clay went up because he <laughs> kind of worshipped Shelly and Clay. Okay. And something about him just became super depressed. And that's what started sketching out Austin and Lisa. Which, like, why is he doing this after that, Shelly and Clay? Mm-hmm. And I had to, I worked hard to kind of give him a bit of a pick me up after that whole Shelly Clay deal because he was just so out of it. Okay. Johnny Mac was not. I think that. I think Clay's eviction may have been harder on him than Shelly. 
I'm not kidding. Yeah. I'm well, not kidding. The, the, the hours before Clay left, when Vanessa was calling him out, Johnny sat there, and those feeds were weird to watch. It was so uncomfortable. I was Johnny in the DR. There. Oh, oh you're in the DRs. You're in that. Oh, my God. Dude. Yeah, you might have like, to revisit she was just like, those. those yeah, you might have to revisit that because like, she was just like putting him out on front street, and he was just sitting there not even talking. Vanessa, and it was like weird. What's that? Vanessa liked her fights this season. She did like her fights. Absolutely. 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 Hell yeah. So, but you've just proven to Liz and, uh, you know, Austin and, and Julia that you're not going to go after them. You know, that y'all are good. Scamper squad's solid. Becky's got to go. Becky's going to go. So through week eight, and this is really about to start rolling now because um, it goes quick once we got the buyback and Meg goes, it, the, the season's going downhill from there. Um, so week nine is, is Austin's HOH, okay? He's got deals with everybody. He's going to put you and John on the block. Now, you'd ask him not to put you on the block together, all this kind of stuff. When you were nominated, uh, what kind of damage control did Austin need to do with you? Was it irreparable? Um, kind of, was it the point where it didn't matter because you knew you'd go after him potentially anyway? Or what was, tell me about this. My thought process at the time was they wanted to make sure I'd be loyal to them. So they want to cut off my closest ally and they wanted a strong competitor competing against him and veto to make sure he wouldn't win. Okay. Found out it was Brass Tax Alliance. I don't know why. Austin thought it'd be a better idea to work with James and Meg than me and Johnny. I don't know where yeah. that came from, but brass tacks. Mm -hmm. it, it's too. It's it's the season of deals, a lot of deals, and I think that might have just been you know a little deal crazy. Is it true uh, that it was because Austin thought James and Meg were more fun to hang out with? Yes. It seemed like he was kind of like hinting towards that, where it was like, oh yeah, he, he just I like them more. Oh, Every, yeah. yeah. So Austin, Steve, Austin, it was a personal decision. It was a personal decision. Yeah, because he and Liz liked hanging out with Meg and James, and that's basically um, everything that I've that that I've ever heard him say about it is is that that it was a we liked hanging out with them in the house. That is surprising that a super fan who is on the feeds and knows the show so well would make a personal decision. <laughs> I just find that I just feel like I have to be missing something because I find that he made that a lot of very personal decisions throughout this game. So I, yeah. I, I, it's, it doesn't it's, really surprise me, I guess. It, I'm surprised that someone of his level of fandom would make personal decisions. But, but why would like why would well, like, he, why would you're talking about like, a guy that came to the house and fell in love. I mean, like, yeah, he's obviously, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know and what I'm plus, saying? like, Johnny Mack and you seem like stronger competitors that may oh. probably be tougher to beat. You okay, know? sure. So, was that his reason? Because if that I don't was know. Really, <laughs> I, I'm no, probably making no, it. No, it's not. Nice. <laughs> if, he, if he thought, hey, I'm going to go with James and Meg because I don't think I can deal with Johnny Mac and Steve later, mm -hmm. that would totally make sense. And I totally would understand why he did that. Yeah. Based I don't want to put any words in no, Austin's cause, mouth. Because we talk about that later. We talked about it with Austin. We talked to him. And we even talked about when Meg and uh, when uh, Julie and when Julie has to go up against Meg, that should have been, that's what, that was his mistake. He should have let you go up, voted you out, and kept Meg. I mean, there was any number. That was the week where he really fucked up um, his game because why would but you see him? Yeah. What's that? Well, no, I mean, like, for, for his game, that's what we're talking about. Like, you or, I mean, I guess that would have been the only option at this point. But because um, James won the veto. But, you know, if he'd have tried to talk to her, and he got a lot of sway over her. He, you know, there's no telling. He very well could have. If he'd have put it in her head, she would have at least considered it from every angle, you know? So, um but but anyway, yeah, like John's gonna go home, but he's coming right back in with the buyback. Um James and Meg are numbed. James wins this veto, and you've got Julia and Meg up on the block. Now, yeah. this is another thing. This is another thing that's interesting because everybody at home was like, Why the fuck aren't they breaking up the sisters, uh the Oz twins, and why not keep Meg? She's terrible at competitions. So uh tell us. I mean, like aside from just I mean, obviously strategically, but just talk about this. In case you didn't notice, I didn't sleep at all that night tossing and turning over that decision. Yeah. Um, you, you threw up. This is when you're having all the uh, gagging episodes. Have you seen a fucking doctor, bro? You need to get scoped. <laughs> um, I'm serious. Get some my decision boiled down to this. Um, I was afraid that if I got rid of Julia, Austin and Liz were no longer going to trust me or Johnny Mac, and they would team with Meg and James. And then it could be Austin, Liz, Meg and James versus me, John, and Vanessa. I was so afraid that they were going to flop and go work with Meg and James if we got rid of Julia. Okay. And they easily could have. They easily could have. That is why I, it, that if I had trusted that 
here's the thing, and I could have gone with the final four with Meg, James, me, and John, and that's what people were talking about. I don't think Meg and James would have gone with me and John. I think they would have sided with Austin and Liz. You think? Yes. You think? Okay. okay. I think they they liked Austin and Liz more. Just you see, you would have put this up as personal, one hundred percent personal. It would not be strategic. I, they just get to the final four because I mean Austin knows the game, but as long as he's getting there, that's good for him. I just so, think. I think they would have stopped trusting me if I were to vote out Julia because I promised them up and down I was going to keep Julia and get rid of Meg. Mm -hmm. So I okay. saw Austin and I saw Austin and Liz going straight to James and Meg, and then as soon as I keep Meg, she's going to turn around and go right back on me. Okay, okay, that's why I didn't um, do it. Uh, let's get a little hypothetical here. Since you're going to win this next HOH, it wouldn't have mattered what you did, I guess. Really? No, I don't. Um, win the, in the, oh, you mean we're talking about? The, oh yeah, yeah. We, we wait one more. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, I was. I was gonna, I was gonna take you through after after Julia leaves, uh, or after excuse me, after Meg leaves, you're gonna win this next HOH. Yep. So if if Julia had left, you still would have been fine because you had power. No, nope, because because Liz Julia, Liz wins the next HOH of the, the double. double. Yeah. And, and I would. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Sorry. I'm, and then I'm she not. would have had hell to pay. She would have been furious, so, especially in a double. Furious, with sure. Time. You're right. That's right. That's exactly right. And yeah, had because, I gone with Julia, me and Johnny Mac would have gone up most likely. Yeah, we even talked about that. McCray is how that was the that was the smart side of that coin because we did the podcast right after that and and was talking about it. So okay, um, let's uh, let's move forward then. So Liz, Liz is going to win the uh, the double eviction second part. Yeah. Second part. Yep, second part of the double eviction. <laughs> and uh, where at this point in the game. Where do you feel like your odds of getting to the final HOH? How do you feel like you're sitting right now? I feel like I'm sitting okay because I have my two final twos, and I feel like I trust both of them pretty much. It's just now is the time to get Austin's out of here. And I feel okay. like me and John and Vanessa can beast out Austin's in comps. And, and you said that before earlier in this episode. You said that if you would have won that double, um, any Austin part of that Liz. double. Really? Okay, cool. All right, good, good, good. Austin Liz, any say, part of Okay. Mm -hmm. had, had I won that double eviction road trip HOH, Austin Liz would have gone up. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so uh, next week, I mean, shit, big boy wins. You're, you're putting on an HOH hat. Um, you got to be feeling and, good. I, I I make the big boy. I made made, the big, and then you make the big boy move, and yes, you stunned well, everyone in America. Just, just, what wouldn't have been the big move? What wouldn't have been a big move that week? Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's right. very very I mean, true. Very like very I was, true. A, there's nothing I could have done that wouldn't have been a big move that that's, week. <laughs> that's very very true. Oh, like, that's a good point. But yeah, I mean, this is a part of like you know like and a lot of people like. I mean, like, before you won this thing, a lot of people were like, oh, I mean, like, Steve, what has he done? Blah, blah, blah. But this is, like, one of those things where it's, like, even, like, throughout these weeks, like, you've done a bunch of stuff. You've made the smart moves, the strategic moves, the I, no blood. I played a behind-the-seeds game. Exactly. Because I think yeah. the big thing is all the beard and the hair, that yeah. was all part of Vanessa making Vanessa. Because she was the one that told me, hey, you should do it. And it's like, uh, this looks crappy. And then I thought about it, like, huh. Yeah. I'm standing up to Vanessa. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to stand up to Vanessa over facial hair. <laughs> That's yeah. good. That's, That's super smart. Funny. That's very subtle. Very, very subtle. Well, except people kept comparing me to Derek. <laughs> but it's weird because my reasons and motivations were completely different than Derek's. Because okay. Derek was trying to like just blend in better. Yeah. I was trying to make Vanessa and only Vanessa feel like she could control me more. Oh, okay. My motivation awesome. was because I was, it was, I was thinking Russell Hans. He gets rid of the people who are onto him. I was sure. actively working to make sure that she knew that she had complete and total control of me. And that's why you, if you saw my, my conversation with Johnny Mac, my conversation with Vanessa, were very different. Mm -hmm. With Vanessa, I just agreed with her. Mm -hmm. And if I disagreed with her, it'd be to show how she can work me back into it. I would never, dis <laughs> I would never disagree with her yeah. unless I had full intention later in the conversation on letting her work me over and then agreeing with her later on. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And then with Johnny Mac is the only person I'd actually have you know an actual conversation with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would your you, interactions would... with Johnny Mac were always best. Like that was the fun. Yeah, and, and Vanessa, I said yes. Right? And Vanessa, yeah. I said yep. Uh huh. You know? Sounds great. That makes sense. Cool. 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 And Vanessa was just Mr. Yes. Okay. 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 Right. That, that was important. You had to feed your ego. I mean, like if you look back at like uh, when uh, Jason left. Okay. Jason helped Vanessa study for that competition. Okay. That she won. Well. He's I'm sorry, since you dropped. Uh, I guess it was what it I was. Can't the one which, that, it the was, one that Jackie and Vanessa won. 
Oh, well, I can't remember. Yes, yes, the questions, the questions, yeah. yes. Okay. okay, well, I think that I think that Vanessa was extremely insulted that Jason suggested that uh, he helped her do anything. She was so much smarter. Like, playing to her ego was incredibly important this season. Um, I did and, a lot of that. I did a lot of that. And you did it well. <laughs> I played the one person who was playing everyone else, essentially. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's it's true. big. That's super big. Well, see, that that, that's I mean, the one person to play. Yeah. All right. So this okay. So the next we're talking about your HOH weeks where we kind of uh, trailed off there a little bit, but uh, you, you're you're another HOH week of yours. But Austin, Liz, you pulled that trigger, man. Put Austin up the first time. Austin's nominated, um, and he's going to win the veto. This was a weird. Uh, this was a weird veto situation. Uh, the the bowl arena was great, um, but Vanessa told Julia to pick Austin, pick Austin. So and amazing. that was funny. So, uh, but we ultimately props get, to Vanessa. Props, props, props to Vanessa. Props Huge to Vanessa. Props. Yep, that was and, big. And in the sake of plausible deniability, to say Julia, the worst thing that could have happened is for you to be on the block next to your sister. I mean, like, there's all these things that play into like that. Honestly, oh, I um, just want to help it, Julia. I wouldn't <laughs> about my own game. Yes, I would say this is Julia. I was being so, so selfless in that moment. <laughs> And then Austin pulled her in the hammer room afterwards, and then Austin and Vanessa are all peach. I, and I remember after Austin went in, Austin and Vanessa went to the hammer room after, Austin came out livid and came out happy. I'm like, this girl. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> I'm yeah. blown away. It was a pretty That's, amazing move this season. When did you start noticing that Vanessa was better? Like, I mean, obviously you said you went to her very early and you see what you saw what she was doing. But at what point in the game did you realize exactly how good she was at the game for the game she was playing? I kept getting surprised. Okay. I was surprised okay. when she got James to blame Shelly and Clay for the Jason eviction. I was shocked again when she got Austin put at me and Johnny so she could have me dolls to herself. Mm -hmm. I was shocked again when that whole Julia thing went down during Bowl Arena. I mean, it just kept happening. Okay. And then I realized, I just like, okay, I need to stop being surprised by this. This girl's a wizard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Total yeah. wizard. No, and absolutely. She is. She's good. Yeah. <laughs> no, 100%. Yeah. 100%. And her blood, her blood was uh, game worthy, too. Um, let's talk about. When you have the twins on the block together and you send the one home that's not – that doesn't have the better chance of – I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't send yeah, her exactly. home. Exactly. Yeah, no, no. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> sure. But let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about this house and the idea of keeping Liz and Austin together. I know that there's a lot of promises and swears and this kind of stuff. But uh, like your perception, what uh, were you – I mean at first I was really upset about it. Obviously, because, like, why are we keeping the one who's less competent? I mean, yes, sure. This sure. Is, I mean, why are we keeping the one? Who, yeah, why are we keeping? Well, shouldn't we be getting? Shouldn't we be getting rid of the stronger player? I'm like, why are Vanessa and Johnny Mac, you know, agreeing to this? Yeah. And I'm like, you know, why? Because Vanessa probably pulled a deal out of Austin. <laughs> and I knew right then Vanessa pulled some type of deal out of it. Mm -hmm. And okay. I thought I knew there was nothing I could do. Sure. So, okay. Um, I never, and then I thought about it. I actually wasn't too against it. And the reason why I wasn't against it when I thought about it is I was afraid that by keeping the bigger targets in, I know that Vanessa was skeptical of Johnny, and I know that Johnny was skeptical of Vanessa. By keeping the show mess together and ensuring that if either of them went into age, they would not go after me and Johnny, mm -hmm. they'd go after the two remaining. And I felt like there was a better chance of me, Johnny, and Vanessa staying together if Austin and Liz stayed in the house. Okay. That was okay. the right side to it. So it was kind of I knew there wasn't anything I could do, so I kind of tried to find a bright spot in it, and that was the bright spot. Okay. Okay. I, yeah, that's, I mean, it's, and even if uh, I had five was, five, I think one of my biggest strengths is I in this game is I knew what I could do and I knew what I couldn't do. I know what my strengths are, I knew what my weaknesses are. Mm -hmm. My strength was thinking things through and figure out how to best strategize and best plan ahead. Vanessa's strength with her gift of gab and be able to make being able to make people do things. And I knew that was something I could not compete with. And I knew had yeah. I tried to flip it, I would have lost. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um so it's not that I didn't want to flip it, is that I knew I couldn't. Yes, exactly. And there's no sense in sticking your neck out for something that's uh, useless to wrestle with. I'm with you. Exactly. So moving into uh, this is day 85 uh, is what we're coming oh, up to. Oh, under the rainbow. Yes, yes. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Vanessa is going to win that HOH, uh, going to nominate uh, you and John. 
John's going to win the veto, which is going to leave a spot next to you on the uh, block, and it's going to be filled by Austin. Okay, uh, a lot of stuff kind of happened this week. This was the uh, this is the Ariana Grande concert because of the luxury through the uh, what was it over the what over the rainbow? What was it called? Under the rainbow. Under the, under the rainbow. Okay, I knew it was close. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, kind of tell me about this week. Uh, you and, and John are on the block. He's going to win the veto. Is this the most nervous that you were this season? Not at all. Okay, okay. The line I said in the DR is I am feeling way safer than I probably should. Mm-hmm. I, I, and I No, I'm sorry. I think I said I am feeling as safe as I can being on the block post veto in Final Five. That was my line. Yeah, that's, okay. Um, I I was just shocked that she, I was sure when Vanessa won she was going to put Austin and Liz up. Yeah. Okay. And then I I realized I didn't think much of Austin's influencing power. Then he proved me wrong this week. I don't know what Austin did to flip Vanessa, but he Austin did he, something right. Well, that's that's what I was. That's kind of what I was thinking here is because like you just said that you knew that Julia had gone home due to uh, Vanessa's deal with, deal with uh, Liz. Liz and Austin. Uh, with, okay, and so now you got Vanessa's HOH, and you're nominated along Johnny Mac. So this is looking like a pretty damn good deal has worked out. I, so with I Austin, knew, there's no way Vanessa promised Liz anything because Vanessa saying, "Hey, I'll give you my vote. You don't put me up next week." Vanessa wouldn't have promised Liz anything more of her vote. I didn't think for a second that Liz had en- that Vanessa had any deal to say loyal to with Liz in Final okay. Five. Okay, all right. It's like well, it's like Vanessa. I'm I'm sorry. It's like what Vanessa did in Final Three. It's like, hey, Liz, I'm giving you my vote. You take me if you win. Vanessa only promised her vote. Mm-hmm. There was no commitment for after her vote happened. I'm, assu- I'm assuming that's probably what happened. Okay. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't say. Uh, I know Vanessa. Sure <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Trump's vote and then li- and made Liz like agree to not put her up or something mm-hmm. along those Okay. Lines. Okay. All right. So, all right. Well, coming off the heels of a, of a potential deal and then Liz being able to vote here. So you know it's going to come down to a tiebreaker, oh. and I mean, like I said, that's pretty fucking nerve wracking, dude. It's pretty nerve wracking. So if you're feeling nervous. if you're feeling good, if you're feeling good, then you're in a damn good spot. So, so, thing, I know, uh, I'm sitting here like I know I should be nervous. Yeah, I know I should be. Well, that's what everyone always says: is as soon as you get comfortable, you know, that's when you go home. So and I yeah, knew that. yeah, I, yeah I, exactly. That, that was Andy's famous line. He was yeah. scared the whole time. Yeah, and I feel like I'm feeling really. I shouldn't be feeling safe right now. Yeah. yeah, but I do. Yeah, that's how yeah. I felt. I'm like, that's... But I know Vanessa because I knew Vanessa has to, Johnny Mac and I are tight, mm-hmm. and Vanessa's gonna want to split the showman's. Yeah, I mean, yeah. especially yeah. there's no I way mean, she thinks, there's no way she thinks Austin's gonna protect her more than I am. Yeah, there's no yeah. way. No, well, you know, it is it, at Final Five. You never know what the fuck's going on, especially something like Vanessa who switched gears several times in the season. Oh yeah. So mm-hmm. anything was potential, but. He's going to go. Uh, Austin walks out. Um, and then day 89. Barefooted. You're barefooted. <laughs> that's right. Uh, a day 89, I think it is, is you're going to win the HOH. Uh, nominate John and Vanessa. Vanessa's going to win the veto. Um, what did this do to your plan? Oh, now, this, this is your is famous, something. this is your famous, like, not famous, I guess, but this is the night that you showed a lot of emotion. Yeah, um, I was. I, because here's the, Vanessa kind of had me for a while that she couldn't win with Yuri. Because mm-hmm. that, that all came so quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Between the eviction Monday, HOH Monday, nominations Monday, Vita first thing Tuesday morning. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, and I couldn't decide whether I wanted to throw it. Mm-hmm. I did, just for the record, I did throw it. Mm-hmm. I have no idea whether that was the right decision. I whether that was the right decision with the information at the time I had, but I did throw it. Mm-hmm. And also, Vanessa did not talk me into it. I even denied it to Vanessa. Mm-hmm. Right decision, bad decision, good or bad decision. It was my decision completely. Mm-hmm. Um, my reason for throwing it is um, I knew Liz wasn't going to win it. I knew it'd be either Johnny Mac or Vanessa. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking, well, if I'm in the final three with me, John, and Liz, Liz is going to take John. Mm-hmm. And John's going to be scared to take me because then there's four scamper squad votes on the jury. Mm-hmm. So John's probably going to take Liz. And I was afraid that if I – obviously the goal of a final three is to make it so you don't have to win that final three HOH. Yeah. And I was thinking, OK, if it's me, John, and Liz, I have to win. Mm-hmm. Me, Vanessa, and Liz, um, Vanessa would probably – I thought Vanessa would take me. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought Liz might also take me because Vanessa, Vanessa might take me because Liz has the two votes and Liz might take me because Vanessa is so good. I mean, because, and she would, I, I was hoping that she'd have the ability to see through that much like I sure. did. Yeah. Sure. Um, so I was kind of, t- but then again, if Vanessa makes the final three, she's great at endurance comp. She's great with people. So she's going to be, she's going to win that, um, part three and then that leads to even us a final two where i'm banking on a better jury mm-hmm. gotcha gotcha now when austin left and he's told her there's no way you're gonna win the game what did that did that make you think that you needed to take her to final two at all i temporarily in the short term yes and i saw okay. back and like there is no way austin is gonna be a better juror <laughs> no and i remember a bright the night before becky left i was up with her most of that night a jury sucking up and b because she was up all night because of her uh her toe you know about becky's toe toes so, yes yeah, yeah, sure yeah. Yeah, so I was up with Becky because of her tell, and she's like, "Wow, Vanessa's good. I'm gonna vote for her if she gets to the end." And I'm like, "If Becky's not, if Becky the recruit's not gonna be bitter, <laughs> we don't have a bit of jury here." Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, there was a short time where it worked. There was a 48 hour period where I thought about I wanted to sit next to Vanessa. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And then I realized that night, wait a minute, I can't beat Vanessa. What the hell am I thinking? And I was so afraid with Vanessa in final three, she's gonna win final H O H. She might even if she takes me, I'm playing for second place. Okay, okay. And, and then my and, I jury speech next to Vanessa. I'm gonna have to talk about character and morality and honesty, which is the last thing I ever thought my jury speech would be about. But, but with Vanessa, that's what my speech would have that's been. That's what it have to be. Yeah. yeah, play play to the audience for sure. Um, but okay, with Vanessa winning this veto and staying around, uh, there's no choice. She gets to vote, and John's gonna leave. Um, Man, going into uh, – I just want to ask you at this point, uh, going into this final three, HOH, did you ever think you'd – from the time you won trombonist, what did you, did you think you'd make it that final HOH? No, I always thought I was going home the next week. Maybe yes. Two weeks. Yeah, okay. two weeks max. There were times yeah. where like, when, like, when Austin and Vanessa were HOH, I knew I was safe. There were, there were times I thought I was safe for one week, mm-hmm. but I never thought I was safe for more than one week. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, uh, this – the. Uh, First HOH <coughs> uh, doesn't go your way, but you win the second round. And Actually, it did. <laughs> what's, oh, did you win the first round? No, I didn't. No, okay. the, oh, I knew, me. so okay, back up. Endurance comms were not my thing. Okay, sure. I knew that I couldn't win it. Mm-hmm. I actually thought I could for a while when we saw on the disc because – I could win the how bad do you want it comps. Mm-hmm. If you go back to like the, the infamous pressure cooker from season six, something like that, I could win that. Yeah. And when we were on the disc, it's like, holy crap, I could win this. Mm-hmm. And then they make us go down the apples, and now it becomes a thigh strain competition. Like, okay, it's, as soon as they have us moved down, it's like, I, like, I could have sat on that disc all night. Mm-hmm. But as soon as they, we moved down to the apples, I'm out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm it's- like, at that, I thought Vanessa was going to take me. I was about seventy five percent confident Vanessa was gonna take me. And Liz spent that and Liz being the player that she was, she spent the whole week talking about how she can't wait to go party in Vegas with Vanessa. Mm-hmm. And um so I knew that Van- Liz was gonna take Vanessa so Vanessa. that she so that she can go to Vegas afterwards. Yeah. Um and so I was actually rooting for Vanessa to win it once we moved to the Apples. Because I my goal is to have if if it's me and someone's going to take me, that's my best case scenario. And I thought Vanessa would, and I knew Liz wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So it, you didn't win it, but it wasn't. It wasn't I was I, Vanessa. I going You're... in, I knew I couldn't win because I don't have the muscular strength to do it. Okay. Um, pray kudos to you for the popsicles. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, no. I went into the endurance comp hoping for cheering for Vanessa because I knew yeah. if it come down to part two where it's a quiz, that's where I can beat Liz. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. So you know, Not that you I, do. No, hold on. Okay. I don't know gonna I didn't throw it. I don't want anyone to think for a second that I threw that competition. I hung up there for as long as I could. Mm-hmm. But I knew realistically what with the three of us were capable of, I knew that I had no shot, no matter okay. what I did. Gotcha. So I, I don't want anyone to think I gave up or I threw it. I could not have hung up there a second longer if my life depended on it. Sure, sure. No, I got you. I got so you. much deception getting out there. No, she no. did talk into to dropping. Good job, Vanessa. Mm-hmm. I dropped because I couldn't stay up any longer. Because you couldn't do it anymore. Okay. Okay. Right on. Well, uh, you're you're going to beat Liz in the second round of HOH, and uh, how nerve wracking is that? The second round of HOH. I that's when, as soon as I saw crossword, I felt good. Good. Yeah. Oh, no, that that was because definitely. After, I feel- when you did it, it was the under the sea order HOHs. That was yes. and last year was the Egyptian pyramid, and I was so happy to see that it was something 
more mentally challenging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was yeah. because we all had order of HOHs memorized. I was very happy to see that it was harder. Sure. No, yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah, this Spencer, was a very challenging. didn't look that hard at all, Spencer. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, well, I mean, no, like, I mean, it was... Like, order of HOHs uh, is fucking you know, elementary yeah. stuff. Yep, absolutely. absolutely. No, I agree absolutely. with Steve. <laughs> it's elementary. Like, your times, like, uh, my time in my competition would have beat your time. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. your time... Uh, I think I think I would have beat you by like five minutes, but you had a lot more to think about, a lot more to figure out, yeah. put the pieces in. It was and, it was a great challenge. You know great sort of HHs like the back of your hand. I'm yeah, sure. yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. absolutely. So That's no, I, Steve, I, I do not disagree with you at all mm -hmm. on on that. Um, but you win it. You're going to face uh, Vanessa in the in the final three, knowing that you're going to cut her if you win, and knowing that she's cutting you right. You do know that there's no, no. chance. Oh, I really. I was about 75% confident she was going to take me. Okay. Really? Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So, so I wouldn't have been blindsided, but I would have been caught off guard. I would have been caught off guard, but I would not have been blindsided. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. Okay. Um, what so, was your strategy going into that? Just left, right, left, right? Well, like, what? it's a crapshoot. So, you I'm know sorry, what I'm saying? What? Well, because, like, all right, so you're doing that final, uh, the final HOH. Like, it's universally known that it's kind of a crapshoot. Nothing to take I away was from. I attention to language. Language? Okay. Because there's, people have certain ways they say things. And I just noticed the ways people put sentences together. Okay. And there was a lot of them where it was like, there's no way, not even the idea, but just the way the idea is said. Okay. And a lot okay. of it was like that's some knowledge bullshit right there. That's totally knowledgeable. It, I did. That's how. It, that's the same way I did. Um, what the bleep? It's oh, like okay. I don't remember what you said, mm -hmm. but this phrase doesn't sound like something that you would say. Okay. Just the way you might say this idea. Mm -hmm. But you just wouldn't use these Phrase words it. and put those words together in that order. Okay. So a lot cool. of it was not only knowing the people super, what their answer cool, would be. Yeah. That's super, there was also a lot of – that just doesn't sound like a sentence you would say. Yeah. Yeah. That makes yeah. a lot of now, sense actually. Now, you pulled ahead early with the with Shelly's question I guess. And as it went down, I forget whose question she tied it up on. Austin. Uh, Austin's question. Okay. And then uh, Johnny Max uh, answered the end. Now – me being someone that's played the game is hypersensitive the way you know you'd say anything about your job. Um, like I never thought he would say nasty mouths or whatever. Like I, I don't remember what the word is. Oh yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. But like I know he didn't mean it that way. But like, did you know that like that? Had you had conversations with the Johnny Mac before, and he's actually said that exact thing? No, he hates being a dentist. He's only a good dentist. <laughs> he hates teeth. He's there for the money. That's yeah. That's, so that's why I picked that answer. Yeah. Okay. I picked okay. that answer because I think his working out with Austin was kind of mostly a social strategy and also a strategy for getting comms. Mm -hmm. So I mean, he wasn't trying to get buff; he was playing the game. Mm -hmm. But he actually does hate being a dentist. That's that's great. why. I, that's why I picked that answer. That's awesome. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, and uh, then you, what's that? I was gonna say, and then you you go and make uh, you, the best move, of course, obviously. Slate the dragon. Slate, Slate the, the dragon. dragon. You pulled uh, uh, you pulled a, a John Party from Big Brother Canada yes. too. Uh, yes. You know the correct uh, move. Not really, because Vanessa and I. John not not the same, been, but I mean that was yeah yeah. Idea. There's yeah. Like I should have been loyal to her, and that I wasn't because she. I, there was no reason to fight. You gave up I, a sacrifice to the Big Brother gods. That's pretty much the yes, way I always see yes, it. Yes, absolutely. That's the way you see it. Yep. So. Uh, and, and yeah, amazing, so great, but perfect, but, uh, move. perfect uh, easy decision yeah. though, unpleasant decision, but yeah. easy. To Absolutely, sure, sure. It's but good uh, that's not well, that way. Because uh, I because it tells me how good Vanessa was. I didn't. The reason I didn't sleep the night before the finale is because I felt so bad about it. Uh, I really, really wanted to take Vanessa in the worst way. Yeah, really. But just I, I just wanted like in my gut, in my heart, I really wanted to take Vanessa. Well, of course, I'm not going to – my gut and my heart don't matter. I'm not going to do what my heart wants. I'm going to do what's best for my game. Sure. Absolutely. But I – there is definitely a really strong sense in there to take Vanessa. Mm -hmm. But it's like because you know what though? This is a testament how good she is and this is a testament of how the jury's going to be feeling. Absolutely. That's so it was really hard. I, I hated getting rid of her. I really wanted to take her to final two but mm – -hmm. not, not a chance. You couldn't. Yeah, Exactly. You know what I mean. So yeah. no, absolutely, and dude, congratulations on a like a much deserved uh, win. You were nominated what five times? Two veto wins, a battle of the block, four hey, HOH I, wins. Hey, you were no, you were nominated more than I was. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I didn't win as many comps, uh, but uh, but dude, uh, you know what I mean. I did a lot of throwing. 
I did a game. lot of did, throwing. Let me ask you this. Did did um did the votes of um Liz and Julia and Austin, like, did that ever worry you? Or, I mean, of, of Julia and Austin, like, did that ever worry you that she, Liz automatically has a two voting yeah. block? I thought it would have been worse. I know, and obviously I thought about that, but mm-hmm. I thought it would have been even worse next to Vanessa. Yeah, okay. Because you have, because oh, the, the yeah, thing is, because rec- recruits who are new to the game, mm-hmm. the default thing to fall back on for jury votes is comps. Yeah, and I didn't out comp, and I didn't comp, and, and especially a lot of recruits on that jury. Mm-hmm. You have Becky, you have Meg, you have Jackie. I didn't out comp Vanessa, but I did out comp Liz. Yeah, that was very very smart. And plus, I knew that if Liz, if I got rid of Liz, mm-hmm. Liz was going to vote for Vanessa and merely present because Liz wants to go to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I was convinced Vanessa, being the player she is, that I would have had Vanessa's vote. Yeah. Okay. And I was very surprised that I didn't. That was a big had, shocker to everyone, I guess. Once she burned me, I, because you know the ninth jury gets a question, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have asked a question. I would have turned around and told the jury to vote for Vanessa. And I would have a million, 20% voted for Vanessa to win. Yeah. Proudly and happily. Absolutely. It would have been the easiest decision I made the entire game. Absolutely. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. I thought, I, but, I assume it's Vanessa played, Vanessa and I kind of, we didn't play similar games at all. Um, she thinks like me. We have the same approach and respect for the game, so I assume that I would have had her vote, her vote the same way. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I, would have That's something Vanessa. I definitely want to ask her. Definitely that. Yeah, hell yeah. Ask her. So I was also thinking, I don't have Liz's vote mm-hmm. if I evict her because Liz wants to go to Vegas, but I will have Vanessa's vote. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense. So, well, yeah. No, well, dude, is there anything about your game that we didn't cover that you want to highlight? Um, anything like that that you feel like we should spend a little more time on? I just want to to be known that I played the exact game I said I was going to play walking in. <laughs> if you go back and watch my preseason interviews, I did almost exactly what I said I was going to do. Mm-hmm. I got into the alliance, I sat at the bottom, I made the big moves at the end, I made the backstab, and I got next to myself someone else from my alliance. Mm-hmm. And if you go back, that's I just I, it obsessed me when I go online, people think like I was a floater through the game and I didn't do anything because I've been reading a lot no. about that. Like, yeah. just like, well, yeah. dude, I did like, what I was going to do. You know dude, that how if, many if shitheads you have to, there are in the world. Yeah, you know how fucking if, dumb these people I, are when exactly. they watch. Like, why didn't if, James win? I thought his yeah. scares yeah. were so funny. Like, yeah, yeah it's just like, dude, nonsense. If, like, if you've got to ex- explain and justify your win to somebody, then they're a fucking idiot. I'm just going to say. Yeah. Like, People can say that Vanessa played a hell of a fucking game, but you say the she same did. thing. She did you say play the Vanessa, same of thing. Course. Vanessa played so, a phenomenal game. I don't want to take that away from no, her because she did. And no she one did. Is. Yeah, absolutely. She did. And, but yeah, you played just as equally as a good game. Like the thing about Big Brother that makes it so beautiful and magical is that there is no right or wrong game. There's nothing. It's how you get to the end and how you present the game that you played. Um, you know, and you presented a, a beautiful game that uh, you, you, it was almost flawless. Essentially, you know, you did everything right. Um, uh, yeah, and it bothers me, and you're going to get a bunch of people that blah, 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 that blah, like, oh, garbage. Yeah. Because I, was, I wasn't on the televised show until Jackie, so therefore Jackie made no sense at the time if yeah. you were only yeah. watching the TV show. Yeah. Exactly. That, yeah. And, and you're going to come across all those just just TV show watchers you know, that don't this understand. Is, this is a situation where with Big Brother, they've got to edit on the fly. It's happening live. they got to put up three shows a oh, week. Absolutely. They've got to Production has a very hard job. I don't want to sound like I'm trashing. Oh, no, 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 no. No, oh, certainly not. Yeah, certainly yeah. not. Certainly not. But this is where a difference between like Big Brother and Survivor comes. With Survivor, they can film it. They can nurture their characters, show the right scenes to build up this game. So the end of it, you love the winner no matter who it is. For you Survivor know, winners, the Survivor producers already know what's relevant and what's not. Yep. The Big yep. Brother producers have to guess because that yes. hasn't happened yet. Yep. Exactly. So Absolutely. So it this is, is tough. just a disadvantage of producing a show as it happens. Yep. Sure, Absolutely. sure. And it's but, part of the uh, beauty. Yeah, but it's also part of the beauty of it. Yeah. The people can see it live. That's why there's so many people that know exactly what you did. Um, yeah. McCray, he was a huge supporter of you all all season. Thank uh, you. No so, problem. Yes. I had to fight for a couple days. What did you say? 
had your mic for a couple days. I know that was amazing. That was, that, oh. that, that was so cool. I got so many Twitter people just like Steve's going crazy because he has your mic, and I was just like that. Uh, that makes me so happy. I, uh, that oh, I did have your, I had your little name sticker. I don't know if it was the actual. Mic. Ooh, yeah, of course. That's yeah. what it is. That, that's, that's it. Yeah, yeah, my mic's yeah. McCray on it though, so it made me happy. Like, can I just take Steve off and just have it say McCray? <laughs> yeah. Oh awesome. man, you made my season just for like little stuff like that, and the shout outs to On the Block and just being an awesome character, being like the nerd that we all strive to be. I don't know if you. Okay, so with... bad for the next nerd. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have, yeah, yeah. They're gonna have trouble. And, now Ian, and then you have John, <laughs> who's kind of a nerd. Yeah. And you have Sarah, who's also kind of a nerd. Absolutely. Yeah. There's been a nerds lot of are dance... dominating. Yeah, nerd nerds winners. are kind of. Who's the most? I don't keep track of Survivor. Who won that most recently? Oh, Mike. Mike's not Mike. a nerd. Yeah. He's Mike's not, not a nerd. nerd. Yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert: Mike won uh, last season. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't no, watch Survivor, but yeah. okay. But a lot, a lot of the most recent Big Brother winners: Andy, kind of a nerd. Man, no. No, he's no, not. No, he's, he's not. He's, he's not like cool culture. enough to be a nerd. Yeah, yeah he's just a fucker. Maybe nerd. Maybe I'd give him that. I don't know. Well, I guess so. Thank you so much for your support then, because it's so cool to come out like, oh, people like <laughs> cool. Yeah. Have, I, uh, no, yeah. like, like you, all you can do is overanalyze the amount of applause people get when they walk yeah, out. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And that—that's all you get. Yep. Yes. It's tough, yeah. and it's tough, and uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. I'm glad that that never, you never let that stuff get to you, you know, because you you be, you were a true person, and you could see that from moment one that you, you were a person. Like a lot of the times, it's like people kind of get in there and play characters a little bit of like, Ugh. but I mean, you even I, played a little I mean, bit like, of I mean, like I I didn't after the first week when I got over the that guy week one hump. Yeah. I definitely made no attempt to hide my awkwardness. Yeah, but like, it also wasn't. Um, like forced. Yeah, you were a genuine person through and through, and I think that everyone that uh, saw watched the show could see that. Oh, that yeah. you I just, just wished my game before Jackie showed up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then that's the way she goes, you know. But yeah. you still did a fantastic job this season, man. And we just want to say thank, thank you. you so much for being on the show. We really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for having me. No, and if absolutely. you uh, if you ever want to be back, uh, we'll you know I we'll would love to come back at some point. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So you, absolutely. And, and you have a standing invitation. Like yep. if you just call us and say we want to do it because that would be awesome whatever, yeah we awesome will. Canada we'll whatever you want to watch. yeah shit yeah shit um, you, yeah uh, do you, what's your plugs what are you doing what's going what's good for you right now you, you got what's um, your Twitter what's your Instagram? Uh, my Twitter currently Geek Squad McGee 1 mm-hmm. I that's I'm on I, I ha, don't have any other social media I didn't even have Twitter prior to Big Brother so I'm still learning Twitter okay um I've been talking about this for a while. Um, I, my, there is the merch site for me fan stuff, which is on my Twitter. Everyone's seen that. Also, I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to. I keep saying it. I'm going to be putting Skype calls up on eBay. That I'm going to be auctioning off um, the program it, that, that all the proceeds are donated to is the Kiwanis Backpack Wildcat Fund. And what that is, a lot of what it does essentially is there's a lot of um, students, elementary, middle school students who are on free or reduced lunch, which means they have to be below a certain income. Mm-hmm. So, so a lot of them, their only meals are breakfast and lunch at school. Mm-hmm. And what this program does, it gives them a bag of food to have over the weekend so they can maybe have some snacks over the weekend so they actually do get some food <laughs> between Friday lunch and Monday breakfast. So all the proceeds from these calls, I keep saying it put up, but I haven't done it yet, but all the proceeds will be going to that program. That's so awesome, man. Awesome, that man. That's great. So awesome. That's great. Yeah. Yes. So uh, you definitely got a lot of merchandise out there. Uh, yeah, was, but, and I'm sorry I didn't get any. I'm, a, I'm so poor bastard I, I would love yeah. to be rocking some Steve merch right now and you know that I would but I am the poorest I, motherfucker anyone else they'd be joking you I actually believe it. you know I'd be yeah, rocking I'm 100%. wearing my judge shirt right now J U double D right there oh god I didn't even know yeah. that was of judge course shirt. no I'd be I'd be rocking my Steve merch right now if I was not a poor bastard but Absolutely. Uh, yeah the business what'd you say Still in the pizza business. No, I'm actually at a gas station now. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I had been delivering just recently. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's nice. in the oil business now. Yeah, oil he's tycoon. A, yeah, yeah. An oil I'm business. a southern tycoon. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> well, I think on that note, um, I definitely want to leave with uh, something that we've played uh, before on the show, um, which is just awesome, the Mr. Blue Sky cover. Like uh, that, uh, that was, dude, yeah, we, you are a talented son of a bitch. Like you're yeah. big brother, and you can sing like a motherfucker and play all sorts of instruments. What have you? Uh, I'm you, a music major. Yes, exactly. Contrary to Vanessa's conspiracy theories, I actually did <laughs> catch up with Sonia. Oh wait, I wasn't ever, she? What, re, was that when she was like, what was? Did she say that Reason or Logic or one of those programs wasn't on a she Mac? She said that 
She said that Pro Tools doesn't run on Mac. Which is bonkers. That's insanity because I've literally used Pro Tools on a Mac before. Like, I was like, yeah, I, so I, I, I didn't know Pro Tools ran on Windows until she told me. <laughs> yeah. And frankly, I still don't know if Pro Tools runs on Windows. I think it actually does. Does? I, I didn't, I didn't actually, know Actually, I don't know if it does, to be honest. I really don't think it does. I, I can look it up. It'll be easy to look. Because that's <laughs> cool. All our computers run Mac. Mac, and our, yep. Of course, and it's all Pro Tools. Yep, I'm gonna have I to hope, actually look that up afterwards. I but. never really hope. I never really hope for trolls, but it'd be funny if somebody did like made a control account and tweeted to Vanessa all the time. It's like it's not even on Mac, or, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's like people harp on shit all the time. And they just yeah. focused on that. I'd like to do that to Vanessa. Yeah. Yeah, like like at Vanessa's Mac. Yeah. And like have all this <laughs> oh, like because like um Coco yeah, has a bear, Twitter uh, account. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, thanks everyone for watching, and um, um, yeah, you can. Uh, oh. This oh, this Thursday we've got. Um, Thursday is all the fixings with Max Dawson from last season. Um, he, he's doing Survivor podcast, and then on Friday it's gonna be um, pit stop with uh, Mikey and Rochelle talking about Amazing Race. So everyone go check that out, and uh, we've got Make more sure interviews. Subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got more interviews coming for you, and. Uh, Let's just listen These to guys the... are awesome. Do what they're saying. No, <laughs> we're exactly. gonna listen to the dulcet tones of Steve covering. I, 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 and, you guys can't hear. And, you guys won't be able to hear. It. Okay, and, and Steve, stay put like after this so we can talk. Alright. Beautiful. I love this. All right. Um, yeah, you guys be quiet for a second. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I might be singing. <laughs> well, you are singing, of course. <laughs> Bye.